All right, so Android 13 is finally here, along with a set of new features and customizations that really take Android to the next level. If you have Android 13 on your phone already, or you simply want to see what the new version of the OS has in store, we've compiled some of our favorite new features for you. Let's take a look. With the launch of Material U back in Android 12, Google introduced a new approach to how icons on your home screen will look with a more uniform appearance based on which color palette you've chosen, although this only applied to some of the default Google app icons. With Android 13, Google has allowed app developers to enable this feature for their own app icons so your home screen will look more uniform. To enable this, simply go to your home screen, tap and hold on an empty space to get the wallpaper and style menu, and head over to themed icons. From here, you can switch the toggle to use the feature. At the moment though, not all apps have this feature, so you might want to choose which apps will go on your home screen to get the themed icon look. Android 13 now brings you a much faster way to search for virtually anything on your smartphone. From your home screen, swipe up to open your app drawer and tap on the search bar to enter your query. This can be anything from an app to certain settings and options, and in case the item is not available on your phone, it'll give you an option to search online by Google or the Play Store. There's now an option to set certain apps to a specific language, which should be handy for users who speak several languages and would like to use certain apps in a different language. You can access this by going to Settings, System, Language and Input, App Languages, and then selecting the specific apps that you like to use in a different language. Android 13 also introduces a new media player which displays the album artwork and even a progress bar that can easily be viewed by swiping down from the top of your screen or by simply waking up your screen from standby mode. You can even interact with the progress bar by holding down and swiping to your desired timestamp. Using the QR reader is a lot easier now as well. Simply swipe down to access your quick settings and tap on scan QR code to bring up the scanner on your display. This is a lot faster than the older method, which always required you to open your camera first to access the QR code reader. In case you want to see which apps are currently running on your phone, you can simply swipe down from the top of your screen and your smartphone will give you a small tab which shows which apps are active. There's also a shortcut icon for the settings app and the power menu, which gives you instant access in case you want to open them. Now, when we copy text on our phones, it usually stays the same on our clipboard until we paste it over to whatever app we're using. With Android 13, you can now modify the text you copied via a pop-up on the lower left corner of your display. Simply highlight your text, select copy, and tap on the pop-up in case you want to make some changes to your text before pasting it to its final destination. Now Android does give you a clock on your lock screen, but in case you want to change how it looks, you can head into settings, go to display, head to lock screen, and double line clock to change the appearance of your clock's display when you view your lock screen. If you're not in the mood for a large clock display, then this should come in handy. Alright, so if you use your phone for a lot of smart home device controls, Android 13 now lets users access their connected smart home devices from their lock screen. Simply go into settings, display, lock screen, control from lock device to gain access to your smart home devices from your screen without fully unlocking your smartphone. Now, if you're listening to music, Android 13 does offer you a quick and easy way to change wherever your sound output is coming from. Simply go into your settings app, go to sound and vibration, where you can then view which app is currently playing music on your device. Tapping on it will present you with all the devices currently connected to your phone, and from there, you can pick where to play your music from. With Android 13, newly installed apps will now allow you to set your notification preferences when using them instead of having you search tons of different options to modify your notification settings. Once an app is open for the first time, a quick pop-up screen will ask if you want to receive notifications from that particular app. As with every version of the OS, Android 13 comes with a new easter egg animation tucked away in the settings. You can view this by going to settings, head to about phone, Android version, and tapping on the Android version number several times until a clock pops up on your screen. If you set the hands to 1 o'clock, you'll be presented with a pleasant little animation sequence. Additionally, tapping and holding on the easter egg will change the bubbles into different emojis, which is a nice touch. And there you have it. Android 13 certainly comes with a ton of nice improvements to Google's operating system, and we hope these tips help you make the most of it. Do you take note that not all of these features might be available on every single Android 13 compatible device, as different brands and manufacturers will each have their own implementation of features. Now guys, if you have some tips to share, be sure to let us know in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.